I was crashing out yesterday over my startup, like a truly generational crash out. And I want to tell you the story about this crash out just to give you a glimpse of the highs and the lows, the ups and downs of what it's like building your startup. And I'm challenging myself to do this all in one take, no edits or cuts or breaks. So bear with me. Uh, it's probably not going to be the smoothest video out there. But just for some context, I'm building a tool called Yorbi, which is the AI recruiter. We're essentially trying to create this AI agent that can perform initial phone screenings, initial assessments for various candidates so that by the time a company actually decides to do a real person interview with a candidate, that candidate is thoroughly vetted and we know that they have some general level of competency. So my co-founder and I, Meng Meng Duck on social media, we've been building this out over the past month or so this is a recent b2b pivot that we've made and a week or two ago morale was really high we had been chipping away building at our mvp we had early users who agreed to work with us and agreed to use our product into their recruiting system who are very excited about using our product but then and then last friday we sent them a quick video demo of what our mvp is going to do because we had just wrapped up the initial phase of development of this product we sent this email to them last friday and then come tuesday wednesday uh, we got completely ghosted. No response from our initial users. And for some reason, I just felt all the momentum leave my body. And I was just getting super stressed out because in my mind, I'm like, wait, like they're ghosting us. They don't like the product that we're building. Uh, I don't know what to build next. I, for some reason, have this feeling of anxiety where if I'm not actively coding and actively building, it just felt like we're not making any forward momentum and any progress forward. And I didn't want to just blindly build features without having any real users who wanted to use our product and getting their feedback. So I was sitting there stuck like, oh my God, like, dude, do we need to pivot? Our product sucks. Like, we're so, we're so fucked right now. Like, we need to like do something completely different. Like, I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, I was literally crashing out in front of my co-founder for like an hour or two and pro tip get a co-founder if you're trying to build a startup because this is why having a co-founder is important they can kind of like calm you down a little bit uh, but literally after an hour of crashing out in front of my co-founder i close a laptop and the minute i do that i get an email from our early user which i will attach to a screenshot right here basically saying whoa i just showed this product i just showed this video demo to our ceo and head of recruiting and they are very interested in using your product um, and yeah, it just goes to show that like, there's so many ups and downs. And literally when I was crashing out, like not even a minute later, everything is okay with just one simple email. So just a little pro tip. I don't know what, like, uh, what to take away from the story, but I guess the one thing to take away is that if you're trying to build a startup out there, there's going to be a lot of highs and a lot of lows. And oftentimes things can change so, so quickly. One email, uh, one customer, and that's all it takes. So best of luck out there.